Coming up on Fresh Dew with Pastor Inkechi Ene. A new day is here for you with new things, tangible things, things that you can put your hand and say, this is a new thing in my life. And God is the one that brings these new things. Show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Today's message is titled New Day, New Things, New Rems. And in this new day on Fresh Year, I think that's a good message to start with. You know, early this year, the Lord gave me a prophetic word about this year being, you know, our new day. And that's the word I want to share with you. New day, new things, new rems. I believe that this word will usher a new day into the lives of our partners and of our viewers on Fresh Tea. The word was, you know, like a psalm, like a prophetic psalm, which I'm going to start by reading. And I believe the way that the new day in the, in the natural is announced by a cock crow. I pray that this prophetic psalm announces a new day in your life even as you listen it goes like this new day new things new rims harvest time is now and make this personal the fullness is here and now I see big ripe fruits heavy falling freely to the ground fruits that were once little seeds I see big drums overflowing with luxurious wine, wine that was once water. I see a waterfall crashing over a cliff to the land below as rushing rivers, land that was once arid and dry. I see a widow woman distributing abundance to the prophet's ministry, a widow who was once down to her last meal. New day, new things, new rems. Harvest time is now. The fullness is here and now. I see power in the feet of God's people as they prance with strength in high places, feet that were once weak and lame. I see a bright light reaching into dark, hidden places never before reached. Light that was once hidden under a bushel. I see a city high up on a hill. And all can see the glory therein. A city that was once unknown, glory be to God. I see tangible things that you can touch and see. Things that were once visions and dreams. New day, new things, new realms. Harvest time is now. The fullness is here and now. Am I not the one who makes all things new? All things are new. The old is done away with forever. New things, Lord, I hear you say. New things inspired by me. That's a capital me, talking about God. Inspired by me, spoken by me, provided for by me, empowered by me just for you my child just for those i have sent to you new things now lord hear me say new things envisioned by me spoken by me believed for by me prepared for by me 
all for me from you, my Father, all for those you have sent to me. You say, then I say, two-edged sword, ushering this new day with new things in new realms. Glory be to God. Harvest time is now. The fullness is here and now. Change is here. Your godly change is now, says the Spirit of God. Change within my will. Change within my word. And it's all for me. Hallelujah. That is the prophetic word. That's the cockcrow that ushers in the dawning of a new day in every area of your life. Glory be to God. So we're going to jump into this now and begin to give some definitions of some of these words we've looked at in our title. New day, new things, new realms. What does new mean? New mean produced, means produced, introduced, or discovered recently, or now for the first time, not existing before, of recent origin or arrival, already existing but seen, experienced, know that, already existing but seen, experienced, or acquired recently, or now for the first time, unfamiliar or strange to someone, superseding and more advanced than another or others of the same kind. Day defined a particular period of the past, an era, the present time, a particular period in a person's life or career. Hebrews 1, 2 goes this way. God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds. That word world is a bit deceptive. It's the Greek word aeon, and it actually means an age, a period of time, the successive periods that lead up to the end of the ages. We're talking about new day, new things, new realms. What's a thing? A thing is an object that one need not or cannot or does not wish to give a specific name to. An inanimate material object as distinct from a living being. So new things are expected in this new day in your life. As you step into new realms, what do we mean by realms? A realm is a kingdom, a field or domain of activity or interest. A field or domain. So what, what, what activity of interest do you have? What field or domain are you walking in? It could be in your healing. It could be in your, your prosperity. It could be with your family. It could be with a career decision. It could be with recognizing your identity in Christ. In that field or domain, there's something new God has for you. A new day is here for you with new things, tangible things, things that you can put your hand and say, this is a new thing in my life. And God is the one that brings these new things into your life. Glory be to God. So we're going to start now, after having these definitions, let's look at lesson one. If we're talking about new day, new things and new realms. And the first lesson is this, you must walk into the new day. You must walk into the new day. And if you're the kind that likes to repeat after the teacher, then say it after me. You must walk, or I must walk. I must walk into this new day. There's no point by teaching you now daily about new day, new things, new realms. And you just sit there and you don't walk into the new day. So I'm going to begin to show you how you must walk into this new day that is being proclaimed, that is being announced, that is being said to you, has come into your life. You must walk into this new day. That's lesson one. Now under that, we're going to look at nugget one. And if you're used to fresh tea, you know I like to teach in lessons and nuggets and points systematically, so you can follow me. So lesson one, you must walk into this new day. The first nugget under that is you must hear 
the proclamation. Hear the proclamation. I just read out to you this proclamation. And listen, God is always announcing new things. This is not just about a prophetic word Pastor Ngeji says she received. No. If you go through the scriptures, God is always announcing new things. He's ready to take us into a new day every single time. You know, God's dealings with us are not static. They are progressive, but they're dynamic. I'll say it again. God's dealings with us, child of God, are not static. There is movement with God, and the movement is always into a new day. There is movement with God. They're not static. They're dynamic. Yes, he follows the step-by-step -step principle. He respects the principle of progression. You're not going to go from, from the first step to the hundredth step. But there is movement with God. Glory be to God. So not just because I'm giving you a prophetic word. God himself through the scriptures is always announcing, proclaiming new things in your life. Now the issue is this. For you to walk into this new day, you must hear this proclamation. Look at Isaiah 42 and verse 9. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I declare. You see, he's declaring it. Are you listening? I declare, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Again, God is always announcing new things to his people. There is movement with God. Isaiah 43, 19. Behold, I will do. I love it when God says, I will or I shall. It's so reassuring. I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Sometimes we agonize over the will of God in our lives. What's the will of God in my life? Well, the will of God in your life is for you to enter into a new day. Glory be to God. And God is announcing it. He's telling you. I declare it. I'm telling you. I will do. It's my will to do these new things in your life. And, you know, these new things are not just new things that, you know, some people have certain relationships with their gods or with their idols or with their religions, and it's, it's never better. They look back, and behind them was better. Well, with God, before you, is always better. It's always brighter and brighter and better with God. So the new day is always brighter than the day you just stepped out of. You are guaranteed of a brighter future with God. You have no business singing, kursera, sarah, whatever will be, will be. I'll figure out my tomorrow by myself. No. God is announcing new things for you, child of God. And he's telling you that with him, there is movement. And the movement is always brighter. If you've been walking with the word, walking as a believer, and walking in with the spirit of God, your yesterday cannot be better than your today. Your today has got to be better than your yesterday. And you've got to have the assurance that your tomorrow is better than your today. So brighter and brighter, brighter and brighter is God's dealings with us in, in this new day. Proverbs 4.18 says, But the path of the just is like the shining light, the shining sun, that shines ever brighter, Unto the perfect day. Are you just? Are you righteous? If you're just, to be just is to be righteous. Born again. Saved. If you're saved, you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You are just. Now it says, the path. The life journey. The journey of life. The, let me, let me speak pigeon like we do in Nigeria. The waka of the just. Your waka as a just man is always better, ever brighter. Why? Because you serve a God who is announcing new things to you all the time. And he says, I'm announcing and guaranteeing that tomorrow is brighter and better than the day before. Glory be to God. So he says, unto the perfect day, unto the perfect day. That would be the end of time. But you see, we're not talking about the end of time. We're talking about successive, successive steps 
every new day that culminates in the perfect day. So every day of your life, every path of every just person is brighter and better and better. Look at what he says. In the, again, Isaiah 43, 19, we read, I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Certainly, a road is brighter or better than the wilderness. And certainly, rivers are a solution or better than the desert. So if you are in the desert today, there are rivers for you in this new day. If you are in the wilderness today, there is a road being made for you in this new day. If you've been on a crooked path today, it's being made straight in this new day. It's always brighter and better with God. Brighter and better. Third thing you need to know is God doesn't sneak up on you with this new day. He wants you to know of it. And that's why he's telling you. It doesn't happen, you know, many times people sit back and wait for the sovereignty of God to do good things for them. Thank God for the sovereignty of God. And thank God because God is sovereign and he'll always do good things for you. But you know, sometimes God wants to tell you what he wants to do for you. He doesn't sneak up on you and take you by surprise. He wants you to know. Look at what he says again in Isaiah 42, 9. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I declare. Before they spring forth, before they spring forth, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. That expression, spring forth, is a Hebrew expression that means to sprout. It's used with, with, with respect to plants or even hair growing to sprout. When a plant sprouts or springs forth, it is, listen, the first visible manifestation of that plant. But that wasn't the beginning of the existence of that plant. That plant had been planted as a seed in the ground. You didn't see it until the day visibly it sprang forth. And God says, before this manifestation spring up, spring forth visibly in your life, I will tell you of them. That tells me that every single time God speaks to you about the new day and prophesies to you, he's planting a seed in your life. He's saying, before you see this, you've got to hear this proclamation and believe it. I tell you of these things. I tell you who I've made you. I tell you what the sacrifice of Jesus has already provided for you before its visible manifestation, before it springs forth. I don't want to sneak up on you. You can expect it to spring forth. You can expect to see the plants come forth this new day. Why? Because God has told you of it even before it sprung forth. Look at what he says in John 16, 13. See, God doesn't expect you to see it before you believe it or know that it's happened. John 16, 13 says, However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority. But whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you, he will tell you, child of God, things to come. It means he will announce to you he will report to you. You know, the gift of having the presence of the Holy Spirit dwelling in you as a believer is one of the most overlooked things by Christians. You think you just carry the Holy Spirit to shout out in other tongues all the time. I pray in tongues a lot. It's wonderful to pray in tongues. But you know, the presence of the Holy Spirit, the reason you're praying in tongues, part of the reason, is it's reaching out into the deep things of God. So he can tell you things to come. He can tell you that there's this new day you've stepped into. He can tell you there are plants about to spring forth in your life. Glory be to God. So maximize the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. Maximize being filled with the Holy Spirit. When you speak in tongues, you talk, you listen and get leading and hear. He says he will announce. You shouldn't be deaf as a Christian to the move of God in your life. He would announce, he would tell you, he would report to you, glory be to God, things to come. 
Listen to 1 Corinthians 2, 9. And it says, As it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his spirit, for the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man, except the spirit of the man which is in him. Even so, no one knows the things of God, except the spirit of God. Now we have received, not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. Child of God, it's not a mystery to you. It has been revealed by the Spirit of God. We must walk into this new day. We must hear the proclamation. God is announcing new things. And there are better things and better things. And he wants us to know about it. And he tells us about them even before they spring forth. Thank you, Father, for your word. Oh, thank you. The sun is shining. The dawn of a new day is here. Not just on Fresh Dew, but in our individual lives as well. And thank you because you have brought it to pass. And we believe you for this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you alive but not really living life? Do you know somewhere deep down that something needs to change in the course of your life? Does it feel like you have lost your way in life? Yet to others, you seem to know your way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Can you believe that somewhere on the inside of you? Do you believe it? He is the answer to every question. And he loves you just the way you are. Today, he's waiting for you with arms open wide and he wants you just the way you are. Will you make a decision today to surrender your life to him and run into those outstretched arms? If you want to do that, say this prayer out loud, meaning it from the depth of your heart, and you will be saved. Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I believe you are the Son of God and that you died for me and rose again just to save me. Come into my heart and make me brand new as you have promised. I will live for you all the days of my life. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Congratulations on taking the most important decision of your life. You are now born again and a brand new person. It has all happened on the inside of you. Now you need to grow in your new faith. And what has happened on the inside will surely be reflected in your everyday life. We can help you grow in your new faith. Please call us at 0700 Fresh Dew or email us at saved at freshdew.tv and we'll be here for you. Romans 10 17 says, So then, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You can order today's message and other past messages on our website store, freshdew.tv. It is available on MP3 and CD and also on MP4 and DVD just as seen on TV. Fresh Dew, giving you fresh inspiration and direction for your life. Thank you for watching Fresh Dew today with Pastor Nkichi Ene. We trust you were blessed by today's episode. For further information on Fresh Dew, please call us on 0700 Fresh Dew, which is 0700 3737 4339. 
If you're calling from outside Nigeria, the number will be plus 234-700-3737-4339. Our phones are open from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. GMT plus one. You can also send us an email to info at freshdew.tv and we'll be glad to serve you. We also invite you to like, follow, and interact with us on our Twitter and Facebook pages at Fresh Dew TV and also on Pastor Nkechi's Facebook pages at Pastor Ketch. For more information on how you can partner with Fresh Dew and receive Pastor Nkechi's monthly letters and weekly MP3 gifts, please visit our website www.freshdew.tv Once again, thanks for being with us today and we look forward to seeing you next time on Fresh Dew to receive fresh inspiration and direction for your life.